Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff back again with another one of my Sunday fun day, uh, the A disease of Christian rock. Um, again, reminder, uh, we're on G's now, and in case you're just joining us, we are looking at my vinyl collection of Christian rock, hard rock, metal, any of those genres, subgenres, anything you want to call the heavier edge. I am excluding what I consider more of the pop the light pop, the light rock, the AOR, stuff along that lines. Though some of that may creep in because what happens with my collection is if I really love the band, regardless of the style, <laughs> I consider them to be in that uh, favorite sweet spot, then I may include them. But for the most part, no. There have been one or two questions so far raised about bands that I have excluded because of the way that I, you know, cover them. And um, so... Anyway, if I don't show it, it doesn't mean I don't have it. It may just mean that maybe it's not in that heavier side of things. Uh, but And again, these are bands that would publicly be acknowledged to fit into that realm. It's It can be a gray area at times. There are a lot of bands that, you know, have Christian members that aren't promoted as a Christian band. Um, one comes up in this particular uh, series, as a matter of fact, um, well, because they would be the first band, actually. Galactic Cowboys is a band that have heavy roots in a uh, spiritual side of things. Uh, in interviews, the guys in the band claim to be Christian, but they don't claim to be a Christian band. There's a lot of spiritual overtones. There's a lot of things like that. But the band was never marketed as that. So I did not include them, even though as Christian rockers, we claim them <laughs> as being on our side. So I didn't show them because, again... They're kind of one of those gray areas, kind of like King's X did in the early days, things along that line. There's just some bands that kind of walk that line, and so I didn't want to, you know, force them into that category. But anyway, so for coming up is Generation. This was, to me, an odd reissue only because it wasn't a huge, um, as far as I know, it wasn't really a huge commercial success. It was just an, a one-off industrial album. Um, I believe the main person behind it was the guy that ran the record label at the time, Caesar uh, Kalinowski um, and Gavin Markle. These are guys that, you know, ran the label at the time. The big thing with this, you know, it's got uh, some people doing all the programming and everything. It's industrial metal. But the big draw for this was that Bruce Franklin did the guitar work. Bruce Franklin, of course, from Trouble fame. So, um it was it was fun back in the day and when it came out on vinyl i'm like well yeah i mean i love this album i just thought it was odd that you know out of the blue this was a reissue it's it's great stuff um but yeah the claim to fame was bruce franklin of trouble fame so and which which makes sense because i believe the label was in the illinois section so anyway uh it was a one of the earlier limited run vinyl releases and i'm pretty sure is long gone for by now all right up next grave robber I've mentioned them before. They're from uh, Indiana. They started in the mid-2000, 2005, 2006. I think the first album, main album, was like 2007 or so. Shock Rock, they wear makeup. That, you know, they sound a lot like the Misfits, kind of punkish. Um, they uh, wear masks. They have stage names like Plague and <laughs> things like that. So um, a, a, a very uh, Shock Rock, Horror Rock type uh, view and like I said they wear the costumes that look like zombies and stuff and um, yeah so they've got quite a few albums out I think I've got everything on vinyl uh, that they have except one album which I don't believe was ever on vinyl so um, which I guess is mainly for they have some singles and stuff out too that I also have that I didn't pull out so this is their most recent escaping the grave which was even this one's about five years old now or so great stuff love those guys up next, Guardian. Guardian, of course, uh, they were one of the bigger name bands back in the 80s. They weren't Enigma Records uh, originally, you know, in the day with Striper and Baron Cross. Though, you know, again, unlike Striper, they didn't go quite as far on Enigma Records. Um, commercial, you know, 80s glam hair type. Not really glam, but more of a hair metal. Now, this is their first album, Paul Colley on vocals. Um, and then he left the band after that and the second album came in with jamie rowe on vocals and he continued his you know tenure through the rest of that i've mentioned him recently because he recently re re uh, did a new brand new album under the band named calamity kills but um 
got his heyday back in the day. He was from Tempest, did a couple albums with his brother in Tempest, and then joined Guardian. And uh, yeah. So there you go. This was Fire and Love, the first album with him. This was reissued on vinyl a handful of years ago. Miracle Mile. There's quite a few albums in here that were not, but um, these early ones were reissued first time on vinyl. Then this wasn't too many years ago, but a couple guys from Guardian, a couple guys from White Cross got together and did this White Cross Guardian revival. So you got uh, you got Jamie on vocals and you got Rex Carroll and oh, and you got Dave Bach on guard of Guardian. So you got Jamie and Dave on bass from Guardian. You got Rex Carroll and, and the drummer from White Cross, which I know I just totally blew his name. He just put a solo album out not too terribly long ago, but. This was a, a, a you know a combination where they got together. So they've done some covers of some White Cross songs and some Guardian songs, and then some extra stuff. They did Spanish Castle Magic, and then they did a Spanish song. But yeah, so it's just kind of some fun. Members from each band got together, and they did some of each other's songs. So one and done type thing. Not sure if there's any plans for future things, but this was kind of a fun project back in the day. And. That is actually it. There's not a whole lot in the G's this time around either. Move on to the H's next time, and we'll see what we got in that. So thanks a lot for watching. Fun stuff. Rock on and rock hard.